My dear family, as we, get, as we get closer to the time of Advent, you will notice the shift in the readings, a shift in what we read in the liturgy. It will become apocalyptic. It will become more based on the reality of the last things. Heaven, hell, judgment. And today's gospel, today's gospel speaks about one of those. Today's gospel is a homily delivered by Jesus himself. It is a sermon Jesus gave to his disciples. This homily, this sermon happens to also be a prophecy. A prophecy given by Jesus himself. The subject of this prophecy is his second coming. The second and final advent. The final judgment. One of the four last things. The Catholic Church, in union with scriptures and in union with sacred tradition that is passed down from the apostles, teaches that there are two judgments. Two instances where God will pronounce his judgment on us. The first judgment is called particular judgment. The second judgment is called universal judgment, or in other words, the final judgment. Particular judgment, or in other words, the first judgment, is the one that happens at the moment of death. This particular judgment happens when we die. At that moment, at that moment we sit at the judgment seat before our Lord. And we will face his just and merciful gaze. At this judgment, at the particular judgment, we get to know where we're going. We gain knowledge of our final destination, and that knowledge is revealed to us. Our Lord will pass his judgment on whether we get to go to heaven, purgatory, or hell. At that moment, the moment of our death, at the moment of particular judgment, we come to know where we're going for eternal life. And then at the second judgment, or also called the final judgment, or universal judgment, this judgment happens at the end of time as we know it. It happens when the earth and the skies as we know them cease to be and they become a new thing. And today's gospel speaks specifically on that judgment, the final judgment, the universal judgment. At this final judgment, we will see the Son of Man coming down from the clouds. We will see Jesus Christ's resurrected body Come back again. Come back to earth. A second advent. For a second time. But this time, in this second advent, this time he will not come back to earth in humility. In other words, he will not come back to earth as a baby in a manger. This second advent, this second coming, at the final judgment, he will come back in glory surrounded by his angels. At this final judgment, he will come back as a final judge of everything. At the final judgment, we will see Christ come back again in his full glory. At this judgment, our bodies will be resurrected from the dead. Our souls be, will be reunited to our bodies. But this time, it will be our glorified bodies, made new and transformed by Christ's victory over death, no longer in the pain of sickness or death. Whether we are in heaven or in hell, we will be reunited with our bodies. At this last judgment, if we are experiencing the joys of heaven at the final judgment, 
our bodies will be reunited back to our souls, and now we will get to experience the same joy, but now with our bodies. If we are experiencing the pains of hell at the final judgment, our bodies will also be reunited back to our souls, and we will also experience the pains of hell with our bodies. At this last judgment, purgatory will cease to exist. Purgatory will be emptied. There will no longer be anyone there. And those who were in purgatory before his second coming, they will be now in heaven. At this final judgment, God will reveal to us his final victory. Knowledge of history will be revealed to us. The history of all that has happened in humanity will be revealed to us and how all that leads to Christ's victory of our death. He will see, we will see, we will see the destruction of Satan himself. And yes, we will get to see, hear, and understand this with our own bodies on the last day. For those who live in peace with God, this is an amazing thing. These are good news. We look forward to this day. We look forward in anticipation to his second coming, to the second advent. But for those who are asleep, for those who do not live in peace with God, this, today's homily from our Lord, today's sermon from our Lord, brings despair, brings fear, brings desperation. However, today's gospel, today's homily from Jesus Christ, today's prophecy tells us to not be afraid, to not despair, but to be vigilant and be ready, be prepared. The way to be ready, the way to be prepared, the way to be vigilant is to follow his commands, to love God with all our heart, all our souls, all our mind, and all our strength, and to love neighbor, and to love them as we love ourselves. In other words, in order to be prepared, make sure that we use the instruments of hope that he has left with us. Make use of his sacraments. Do not believe every single news outlet that preaches despair or fear or desperation. Do not believe every single person who claims to have knowledge on the last day or the hour and the day. Do not believe people who claim to know when the apocalyptic, apocalyptic time is. Today's gospel tells us that the hour and the day are not known. No one knows. Neither the Son of Man nor the angels know. Only the Father. So be not afraid. Do not believe all those who preach about the days of darkness, but believe the words of Christ. Follow his example. Live in hope. This should be good news that he is coming back again, for it is not a stranger that is coming back, but it's someone whom we love, someone who is merciful, someone who is just. And where are his words found? Where are his teachings found? Where are his commands found? So that we prepare. His words are found in scripture. His teachings is found in tradition passed down from the apostles. And his authority, his authority is found in the Catholic Church. All we need to do is listen to his words. Follow them. Are we prepared in this way? Are we ready? Do we make use of all the instruments of hope that the Lord has given us? And do we love God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength? And love neighbor as we love ourselves. Are we living in despair?